So, you want to create an engine. You got a model, you got the texture baked, um, and now you're wondering what do I have to do? How do I set up an engine? Well, it's fairly easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, just using Blender, the same thing I did, did in my previous video with the Tenevis plugin. You know, it's, it's, it's simple stuff. First of all, you just need to have your uh, model uh, and preferably it has to be textured as well because <laughs> because it, it would be weird to export you know just a blank model I mean for testing purposes maybe but you know let's just get straight into it um, yeah uh, as I said I'm not going to be discussing you know modeling or anything in this video I'm just gonna be showing you how to set up uh, an engine to work uh, in KSP I'm also going to set up gimbling so the engine can actually gimbal uh, that's uh, that's a pretty neat option for engines you know it's gonna do this kind of thing uh, so yeah I got my model ready here uh, I got my texture right here and it's saved just as I did in the previous video the same workflow um, okay so we're just gonna uh, duplicate both of these and drag them in the main thing um, okay so we're gonna remove all the excess uh, maps and all the materials uh, um, where are they there we go I'm gonna create a new material test engine text copy that new shader let's do the specular again um, let's set the shininess to 0.04 Okie doke, let's set the texture as the one that is baked and delete the vertex color node. There we go, the texture is there and let's set this thing for the same texture. There we go. So the texturing part is done. Okay, now the setup. Uh, first of all, let's name our part. So this one is uh, hole uh, and this one is nozzle so what we want to do first is create the root object uh, empty uh, let's call it uh, test engine uh, let's parent both of these two to that empty so now we can move it easily um, second of all we're gonna add uh, some attachment nodes so this will be node uh, okay so node stack top and let's just duplicate to the bottom so we can attach stuff to the nozzle as well I'm not going to be covering jettison fairings because they're fairly simple maybe I can do it in another episode or whatever or the same thing I'm gonna do for plumes I'm not gonna be making any plumes uh, because yeah plumes are the only thing you actually need unity for because there is no such option of making plumes in with this add-on yet um, but yeah, okay, so let's rename the node to, uh, bottom. Okay, so now we have node top and node bottom. Let's parent both of them to the main object. Okay, what's next? Uh, next we want to have a thrust transform. That's going to be an empty that, uh, that is like, I don't know, like the physics empty where... Uh, like it's gonna show which way thrust goes which way to push you know so um, okay so let's grab arrows so we actually have a uh, visible axis and we want to have um, we want to have uh, Z plus the way thrust goes why Z uh, it is because um, Z in Blender is Y in Unity, so uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, Y goes down in Unity for, for thrust vectors or something like that. So I, th I think it was, I think it was correct like this. Um, I mean, we can change it later if it doesn't work. I mean, I don't do engines every single minute, you know. Uh, okay, so let's see if, yeah, that's correct. Uh, all the scaling is correct. Okay, so now let's parent this uh, first of all let's name name the MT to thrust transform now let's parent it to the nozzle 
because the nozzle will move, right? It's going to gimbal, and the gim uh, and the um, empty will gimbal with it. So basically, you you get uh, thrust vectoring, right? Okay, so next uh, we're gonna mm, we are going to grab another empty like the uh, like w the one we did for thrust transform, but uh, we will parent the nozzle itself to the empty because this is gonna be our gimbal empty. Basically, we, first of all, we need to know where the engine is going to gimbal. You know where will be the pivot point of the nozzle. So um, let's see. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just uh, place it wherever the nozzle ends and call it gimbal transform. Okay, so let's parent the nozzle to the gimbal transform and the gimbal transform to the nozzle uh, to the hull because you know it just keeps it more tidy. So hull, gimbal transform, nozzle thrust transform. Okay, additionally what, what uh, you can do is uh, duplicate the thrust transform and drag it down a, a, quite a bit. That's gonna be our smoke point. This is where the smoke will come out of. Like, you can imagine there's a plume, right? And there has to be smoke as well if it's like chemical rocket or whatever. So you can have a smoke point and you can assign uh, all of the plumes afterwards in the config. So we're just gonna rename this to smoke point. Okay, so that's our smoke point. Next thing we gotta do is make colliders. Okay, so at this point it's it would be cool to save the project, so let's just save the project. Uh, I'm gonna select the nozzle. I'm gonna click on make mesh collider. So that created this cool collider. It's already parented to the nozzle, so that's good. Uh, where is it? Boom. And we're gonna make one for um, for this as well. Make mesh collider, boom. And let's drag it in the collection as well. So it's pro it's basically parented. So now we have the engine basically done. Next thing we gotta do is uh, let's go into game data. And since this is engine is kind of similar to the vector, we're just gonna have all the vector settings. Uh, let's go into squad. Parts, uh, where is it? Engine. I remember that SSME is the vector. So let's just copy all of this. Uh, go into scripting, create a new file, and call it uh, test error engine.cfg.in, just like in the previous video. And boom, copy that in. Uh, okay, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff we gotta cut out. So first of all, let's uh, the unique name will be test uh, engine or whatever you want. Author, you can do whatever. I'm just gonna do Kerbo Nerd or whatever you know your name so that people see that. Mesh is gonna be test engine because our main object is called test engine, right? Uh, let's delete the nodes because you know automatic generation mass. Yeah, let's leave it the same a rescale factor Let's leave it at one because we don't want to scale it like post scale it after exporting uh, Heat conductivity blah 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 breaking force. Okay temperature tech required Yeah, we can we can actually make it start you know, so you can uh, you can use it at the start of career cost whatever. Uh, test engine will be the title. Manufacturer will be test uh, test test uh, description. Oh, I think this is a long one. Uh, let's just let's just yoink all of that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there we go. Well, let's just put in test. Okay, attach rules. You, you you probably remember that from the last video if you saw it. Um, bulkhead profiles is the size one. Okay, let's leave the tags the same. Okay, this is where the effects start. So let's separate that. So running close. This name is what the whole effect group is called for the nozzle. So here are some clips. You can find these clips in squads folder. You just uh, have to navigate. Oh, viruses. Oh, okay, nothing found. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, um, so there's some variables here. So basically, why are there similar ones? That's because volume 0.0, .0 .0 at 0, 0.0 means volume at 0 throttle is 0. 
next one, volume at 0 0.05 throttle uh, is 0 0.6, so it sounds, uh, it starts pretty loud. And then uh, volume at uh, full throttle is 1.5, so it's harder. Uh, and pitch, same th same thing goes for pitch and for anything really. Just uh, you know, it's dependent on on the throttle. Here, looping, yeah, you can loop the soundtrack. Um, if you want to make your own sounds, there, uh, I think you can use two formats. One was uh, .ogg, and the other one was .wav. Uh, uh, That's a WAV file or a WAV file. I don't know, call it whatever you want. But, okay, there we go. These are the effects. Okay, so Prefab 9 FX Smoke Trail Light. You can experiment with these uh, from the squad folder. Uh, squad effects. You can basically experiment with all of these uh, if you want. You can just change out the names. Transform name. As you can see, the transform name is the transform that we actually named. As you can see here, if I open up the hierarchy and navigate to our nozzle... Uh, where was it? Gimbal transform, nozzle. Okay, thrust transform. Boom! This is our thrust transform. Uh, or th uh, here it's called the thrust point. We're gonna change that to thrust transform. Um, okay, so thrust transform is gonna be the point where this effect fires from. Uh, so this is gonna be the point where the effect fires from. Also the uh, thrust point, but that's gonna be a bit later in the config. So the smoke point will be for a smoke trail, which is gonna fire from here as we set it. Okay, uh, so that's that. Emission is, uh, I think it was how thick the plume is. So the bigger the value is the thicker the the thicker the plume and speed uh, yeah that's pretty self-explanatory how fast it emits and then and, and, uh, also dependent on throttle okay moving on shock diamond it's like a sub effect in the plume so they basically used uh, two effect groups for a single nozzle so basically there goes the diamond effect you know uh, so it's at thrust transform uh, Thrust, 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 I can't say that anymore. Thrust transform Y up. So basically they're using another transform which is going to use the same old thrust transform for it. But basically, yeah, you can configure, you can make more transforms, just name them, I don't know, an FX point or, or effect point or whatever, you know? It's up to you, really. Um, okay, and there's an engage uh, clip. Um... So basically, all default uh, engage audios, uh, they all default to uh, the name called engage. So here you have a clip also from squad. Uh, it's uh, not looped, so looping is equal to false. Pitch, it's pretty high pitched when you engage it, right? Uh, flame out, flame out, you know what happens at flame out. So it actually sparks, it has a spark uh, effect. So it uh, sparks out from thrust, thrust transform. Uh, or and is one shot true so it's basically gonna shoot the uh, shoot the plume once and disappear uh, and an audio for the flame out so it's like like the big boom or whatever you know okay this is where the fun part begins this is the engine module this is what uh, what uh, says uh, like how powerful the engine is what are the effects and stuff like that and you know okay so module engines effects I think this is a pretty old module I don't know if they still use it or not but I I'm gonna go with uh, it's an old module but nevertheless if it works for squad it's gonna work for you engine ID you can uh, name this whatever you want uh, the engine ID I think it was used for some animations or something like that uh, I'm not gonna cover any animations for engines uh, right now. If you want that video, if you want that video to be made, uh, make sure to post it. Post a question in the comments. Um, okay, so running effect name we can see here. So it's uh, equal to the group called running close. So if we scroll up, you can see running close. This is the group. Uh, this is how big it is. This is where it starts. This is where it ends. So open bracket, close bracket. 
boom, this is the running clothes group. And what it consists of is the audio, one prefab particle, which is the smoke, and another particle, which is the hydrolox flame. Um, okay, so we have a running effect name group. Great, thrust vector transform name. This is the gimbal point. So we want to uh, call it, uh, what was it? Gimbal transform, as we named it right here in the hierarchy. Okay, boom, that's going to be our gimbal transform. Uh, power effect name, shock diamond is like the second group they made. So shock diamond is right here. Um, exhaust damage, if you want your uh, exhaust uh, like to uh, damage other stuff in the way. So basically, if you, I don't know, fire your engine while it's uh, still coupled with something, it's going to blow the whole back end up of the craft. That's, you know, that adds some realism to it. Ignition threshold. <laughs> I don't really re uh, remember what this was, but I think it was how quick the engine ignites or whatever. Uh, minimum thrust is zero. This is how how much thrust you're going to generate at zero throttle. You know, this is probably good for, 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 for uh, jet engines, you know, because they're constantly spinning. Max thrust. 1000 and this is uh, newtons i think yeah this is no this is kilonewtons 1000 kilonewtons newtons if, <laughs> if the vector was 1000 newtons it wouldn't do anything heat production uh i think it was in a u some some units but 192 is pretty high it's gonna heat up pretty quick FX offsets um you don't really use that if you place your transforms correctly you can offset your uh, your FX uh, uh, by coordinates X Y Z. You know, uh, engine type. It's a liquid fuel engine. You can check out other types in other configs. Uh, exhaust, exhaust damage distance offset. Yeah, that that just says the distance of uh, damage. Okay, next we have propellant um, and atmosphere curve. That are, that's the last part of the engine module. So Basically, you can have how much uh, ever you want propellants. Like you can have like two propellants, like here, like a mix, like for a liquid fuel and oxidizer, you know. Uh, or you can have just a single, like a mono propellant engine, you know. Or or you can have ten. I, I I've never tried it, but I don't know. I don't know. Just do it and try to see if that works. Uh, so yeah, right here you can see that uh, it's split by liquid fuel and oxidizer. Oxidizer's ratio is 1.1 and liquid fuel is 0.9. Um, that, I think that's, that's default values for chemical engines in KSP. Um, next is atmosphere curve. This is where you set the ISP of the engine. So basically, zero is vacuum, one is sea level. Uh, I'm not sure about the big numbers, uh, I think this is uh, underwater. <laughs> I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. But I mean, yeah, maybe if you know, you can you can uh, you can uh, post a comment and actually explain it to me because I don't really care about other numbers than both of these. So basically, in vacuum, we have an ISP of 315 for the vector, and sea level we have 295. So let's just leave it like that. Uh, module alternator. Alternator is basically, you know, a generator on board. So basically, if your engine runs, it generates electricity. So you can set the rate of it. So three uh, EC per second, I think this is. Yeah, or, or you can experiment with this yourself. Jettison. Uh, since we don't have a fairing, we're just going to delete this module and talk about it another day. Okay, module gimbal. This is the gimbal module. I th I, what did I say? This was thrust vector transfer name. Oh, this was the mm, this was the main thrust uh, transform name. This is where the thrust comes out of. Sorry, this wasn't gimbling. <laughs> this was just the thrust transform. This is the gimbal transform. This is where the gimbling happens. So our gimbal transform name is gimbal transform. Gimbal range. Since the vector has a gigantic gimbling range, we're just going to set it to 8 because we don't want to gimbal very far. Gimbal response speed. That's how fast it gimbals. Since the vector gimbals very fast, we're just going to set it to 5. Gimbal response speed. Yeah, you can enable or disable the response speed because I think it defaults to 5 as well if, if, it, if this is uh, like uh, deleted. 
Mojo animates throttle. This is for heat animations. Uh, I'm not gonna do that uh, today as well. I'm just gonna, you know, give you the bare bones configuration for an engine so you can start, uh, you know, modding engines. Um, okay, and this is where the mission thing starts. So this is for missions. If you just want to mod your engine just to see, just to have it work, and uh, and if you would just want to make an engine pack, you can just delete this. I mean, I don't know how this works, so I usually delete it. I don't use it for anything. Module surface effects. This is the surface effects forever for whatever you know when you're. When your engine is going to fire very near to the ground, there's going to be a lot of smoke going to the sides. You know when the engines do that. Basically, this is the module that uh, says if it's true or not that those kind of effects happen. So we need a transform from where that effect will happen. So basically, as, as you can see, it's already said that it's a thrust transform. So let's just leave it like that. You know, okay, so basically that's it for the config. Um, yeah, it actually took a while for me to explain all of that, but actually it's pretty simple stuff once you actually, you know, uh, get used to it. Uh, so, okay, so now we have uh, named our config. Um, all of that is good. I hope this is going to work. I mean, if it's not, we can change it later. Um, and I'm going to show you all the fixes that I, uh, and, 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 and the problems I ran into. So let's just apply scale clear inverse uh, and export MU model. And let's navigate to test engine, the new. Okay, let's check it out. I'm in the VAB. Let's check the part list. Where is the engine? Where is it? I can't see it. Help me find. Oh, there it is. Hiding in the shadows. Okay, okay, looking good. All is good. Okay, let's add the tank I did in the previous video. Uh, let's add a probe core to it, just for tasting purposes. Where's the cone? Okay, uh, and let's add some stabilization. Um, just like that. Oh, oof. Okay, let's check staging. And let's launch this thing and see if we've encountered any bugs. And if we have, I'll quick it real uh, quick. <laughs> I'll fix it real quick right in Blender right here. Okie doke. So we have our tiny little rocket here. Let's activate the engine. Ooh, the nozzle moves. Okay, first problem. So it moves only one way. That means that the nozzle transform, uh, I mean the gimbal transform, is facing the wrong way. I think it's facing sideways. Because, I, yeah, it rotates like that, which it shouldn't, because it's a single engine. So let's see. I think it is because it is facing Z down. So let's try facing Y down. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's unparent everything that is parented to it. Uh, Alt P. Okay. Okay, okay, gimbal transform. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Let's point it like that. Let's reset this. Okay, and let's parent the nozzle back to the gimbal transform. And let's export this thing again. Okay, where is it? Test engine. Okay, that's it, I think. Okay, let's just um, reload the database real quick. So, a while later, I figured that it was a bit of a tinkery process to fix this thing. Uh, <laughs> so, first off, I'm going to be including this blend file uh, that I'm making, uh, where is it, right here. Um, the second thing I realized, never, like, I never messed with the vector engine uh, from the beginning. Um, one of his effects is actually uh, positioned uh, in its uh, model uh, incorrectly it's not straight like all of the other effects um, so basically I fixed the gimbling uh, now it works correctly for some reason I don't know uh, yeah it's the matter of um, transforms as you can see here it appears that Z in Blender Z plus 
has to go down. Same goes for smoke effects. As you can see, there is smoke effects coming out and, and, and some more smoke effects there. Uh, let me just enable the fuel cheat so we still have fuel. But yeah, uh, as you can see, if I launch this thing, oh my god, of course it's gonna be very fast. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, let's get radial out. Come on, turn. Do it. But yeah, it gimbals. Um, I th yeah, it's working correctly. It's just the mass over this thing is not good. But yeah, uh, just just if you want to fix this, uh, just uh, take this shock diamond part and just fucking yoink it, you know. Uh, save that, export it again. Oh, I uh, I uh, I deleted the mesh collider for a nozzle uh, in the process, so just make another mesh collider if you have to, uh, and just drag it here. Boom, it automatically uh, jumps uh, to the parent category and export a new model. Boom, and you have yourself a collider. Oh, we're actually landing. Can we land this thing? With single engine gimbling, it's gonna be weird. Oh, come on! You can do it. You can do it. Oh, it's getting very weird. It's getting very weird. Come on! Come on! Come on! You can do it. 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 Oh yeah, since we don't have the collider, <laughs> we're kind of uh, clipping through the ground. But you get the idea. I'll be including this blend file so you can inspect it yourself, inspect the code, uh, I mean the config file. Um, and yeah, uh, if you're messing with the vector, remember that one of the effects, the shock diamond effect, is actually uh, mis, uh, misrotated or I don't know, it's not rotated correctly from the get-go. So yeah, you just delete that if you want to have a straight straight effect and that's basically it. So uh, I hope this helps. <laughs> it, it's kind of a sloppy tutorial because I, I um, it's rare that I actually do engines. Uh, I usually do, you know, reactors and that kind of sci-fi stuff. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to watch the first video as well because that kind of explains my uh, Blender workflow and texturing. Uh, and how, how, how I make my own parts and uh, I hope that could help you out so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you whenever I make a new video <laughs> bye Kerbo Nerd out <laughs>